Well, I'd like to paraphrase uh, Winston Churchill and say that uh, as a young scientist, uh, if you don't go into physics, it means you have no heart. But as a researcher, if you don't go into materials, it means that you have no brain. And really, I feel that the field is of material science uh, is where these days we have all the intellectual excitement of a new discipline that is based on fundamental science from quantum mechanics to statistical physics uh, to chemistry. Uh, we have the relevance of inventing new materials uh, for uh, technological development, uh, for societal well-being, uh, but there is also the entire excitement of being in a new field uh, where uh, many ideas are coming and because it's driven so much by computational science these days, uh, uh, we are getting uh, all the ideas uh, that come from the world of informatics, uh, machine learning, data mining, big data, uh, are having a huge impact in what we do. Uh, well, the original driving force uh, is to accelerate uh, the development of new materials uh, uh, from an academic setting uh, to industrial deployment. Uh, it's uh, what I would call moving uh, from the lab uh, to the fab. Uh, in reality, this is driven by the fact that uh, computational material science uh, has finally come of age. That means that these days uh, we can simulate uh, on a computer the properties of a novel material, of a novel device, uh, without uh, ever having to make it uh, before in a laboratory. And thus, uh, accelerating enormously the entire production pipeline. I often say that our field uh, has come into a new industrial age uh, where by that uh, it means that we have finally reached the three goals of mass production, quality control and just-in-time delivery of the hundreds and thousands and hundreds of thousands of simulations uh, that are needed uh, to identify new promising candidates. Uh, well, I think there is a tremendous opportunity here uh, due to the scientific and technological ecosystem that you have uh, and that I would say is almost unique in all of Europe. I mean, certainly from the point of view of uh, computational material science, uh, we have the Dresden Center for Computational Material Science, uh, we have the university, but we have uh, the three Max Planck Institutes, uh, we have the three Leibniz Institutes, we have the Helmholtz Center, uh, we have, I think, 11 Fraunhofer facilities, uh, and so it means uh, that there is uh, the perfect environment uh, to drive uh, materials development uh, and deployment uh, from conception, computational, to production, to manufacturing, and finally to deployment. Uh, so it's really an opportunity to congregate uh, all this uh, excellence uh, and this ecosystem into one focused goal.